With the FX9, Sony have introduced their hybrid autofocus technology. And this is the technology they've been developing on their mirrorless stills cameras, and they've brought it now to their professional video lineup. And this is a big move for Sony. Their high-end cameras have never really had any autofocus capabilities worth speaking of, apart from perhaps their camcorder lineup like the Z280. But now, with the FX9, they have obviously come to the conclusion that their autofocus technology is ready for professional video use. Now, the technology is called hybrid autofocus because it combines phase detect and contrast based systems for the best advantages of each technology. It also uses AI learning to help the face detection technology do several important things. Firstly, it needs to recognize the face in the frame, and then it needs to focus on the right part of the face, so the eyes, not the hair, for example. And they also use it to let you set priority faces. This means you can choose a face to lock onto, and it will recognize just that face and prioritize it, even if it goes in and out of the shot. But the important question is how well does this autofocus system actually work? As if it's not reliable, professionals simply won't use it. Well, we've done a bunch of tests on it, and so far, I've got to say, we're all incredibly impressed. So, let's start with the most basic test that we did. A simple interview style setup, and we just asked Amin here to simply lean forward and then back again a few times while adjusting her hair a bit. So, quite a common situation that normally in an interview, it would make any camera operator panic a little bit and quite possibly ruin the shot and it would have to be redone. And as you see here, set to face only tracking mode, it was rock solid, keeping focus on her eyes perfectly as she leant forward and back with no trouble at all. After this, we went outside to do a test of how well the face priority tracking will work on a more challenging, longer distance shot. The classic autofocus test where you walk from a wide angle to a close-up shot. And again, as you can see, it does really well. The focus pull is very soft and smooth and it looks very natural, which personally I think is one of the most important factors when you're looking at autofocus. You want the focus change to go completely unnoticed in a shot like this, and I think Sony have achieved that here. It also picks up on her face when she's still quite small in the frame, and importantly, when she's still in focus. It doesn't wait until she's that little bit closer and larger in frame, but slightly out of focus before then snapping onto focus on her. So it means you don't get that noticeable dip in focus as it transitions from priority of the whole shot to the face tracking taking over, and that's nice to see. Next, we tried what I tend to refer to as the YouTuber test, where you hold something up towards the camera and see if the camera is gonna focus on that instead of your subject. And this is a very difficult shot for a camera to do without any manual input from an operator. And sure enough, it was nowhere near as reliable in this test as the previous two tests. And it was often slow to change between the shell she's holding up and her face and it relies on her placing it directly in front of her face so that the face detection actually turns off. This is exactly the situation where an operator controlling the autofocus would be very beneficial. They can control where and when the camera changes subject by telling it where to focus, either with a touch screen, like on Canon's cameras, or with a flexible spot and a joystick, which is the Sony option on the FX9 like I've tried here. The last tests I wanted to try were purposefully to try and break the autofocus. I often find bright lights in shot can trip up an autofocus system, especially when they're placed directly behind the subject's head. So we set up this situation. Lots of lights in shot, nice and bright, 
and with some changing RGB colours as well, just for good measure. I think of all the tests we did, this is the one that impressed me the most. The FX9 tracks her just flawlessly, even with the sensitivity speeds set up to max. Even in this purposefully challenging situation, it is far better than I could do when pulling focus myself manually. Now we finally managed to actually break the autofocus once we ended up with this extremely dark interview setup. This has nothing but a very strong backlight on a mean, and this is a situation where I would just never dream of using autofocus of any sort, let alone face detection. And yet the FX9 did manage to find her face at times, which I was really surprised by. It certainly didn't track her perfectly as she moves about here, but it didn't do too badly at all, considering you can barely even see her face in this lighting setup. Overall, I've been incredibly impressed with the FX9's hybrid autofocus system. This is definitely professional standard autofocus performance, which you can rely on. There's definite room for improvement though on how to control it. The face detect modes are great, and if you just want to leave it in the traditional autofocus mode where it chooses itself what to focus on, that also works well. Although that wouldn't be my preferred option, I like having manual control over what the camera is going to focus on. And because of that, what's missing I believe is a touch screen. Being able to simply touch on what you want to be in focus is what is needed to properly control an autofocus system like this. Face detect is great for particular shots, being able to toggle it on and off for interviews, things like that. But for normal use and filming fast paced B-roll maybe, or just anything that isn't a human face, just having this flexible spot mode is gonna be a bit slow and limiting for most people. I think this is definitely a system which is gonna develop over time with firmware updates. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Sony can do to help give us more manual control of this autofocus system. Because the underlying technology is incredibly impressive. But what do you think? Is autofocus something that you'd like to be able to use more of in your work? Let me know in the comment section of this video. And if you'd like to buy an FX9 for yourself, then of course, just head over to prov.co.uk with the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.